we now believe that with the way commercial fisheries have gone, with no commercial fishing allowed for wolf eels, and with wolf eels listed as not at risk, we have an opportunity here to develop a fish species from marine aquaculture that's not only green in terms of us being able to do it in land-based tank aquaculture with full tertiary sewage treatment, but that there will be no conflict with an existing commercial fishery. We're trying to develop an aquaculture diversification product where it will be sold in the live market so that relatively small numbers of fish will adequately supply a sort of boutique market that's very high value. When the little wolf eels first hatch, they still have a yolk sac attached below their head, which provides them a high energy fat reserve that provides their body with energy while they learn how to efficiently feed. You have to get a pretty precise idea of when we want to stimulate hatching because the parents in the wild start biting and sucking and blowing to stimulate a burst of hatching. I put on rubber gloves and I give a massage to the egg mass and they pop out. We try to be very gentle. We also try and stimulate it so that they completely hatch. If you don't provide them with the stimulation, then the eggs can go necrotic. They tend to use the yolk up really rapidly once they've started actively swimming. So there's a bit of a trade-off. We don't want to hatch them too early, but we don't want to hatch them too late. So the timing is important. We want them to learn to feed on pellet foods. Not a good idea for aquaculture research to require live natural foods. We're hoping that by providing a sustainable aquaculture diversification product that we can perhaps lower the demand for wild rockfish, a fishery that we know has resulted in the serial depletion of successive reefs.